let's go. So I am on the PTR. Um, I couldn't help myself. I was I actually am very, very excited about two things in particular. Uh, that was dragon riding everywhere and um, follower dungeons. So I am at the southernmost tip of the eastern kingdoms on my Drakthir because Drakthir can now, dra well, will in 10.25 uh, be able to dragon ride themselves. They can, they can fly like a dragon outside, but like everywhere now. They don't, you don't have to mount as a dragon for your drag deer. There is some wonkiness to it. Uh, for example, if you hit mount again, this might happen normally anyway, but if you hit a button that you use for mount uh, twice, it will dismount you, though they can glide, but they can't remount. A little awkward. They can't soar from flying. Um, and it doesn't look like anywhere in a, is in effect for where you can toggle types of flying off. So you can't get, uh, old flying for Drakthir. So if you want a Drakthir to just kind of hover, that doesn't exist yet. I don't know if it will exist, but that doesn't exist. So if you want that type of flying, you're still going to have to put your Drakthir on a mount. But your Drakthir at least can, doesn't have to ride another dragon, which is weird. <laughs> so anyway, we are at the southern tip. Of the eastern kingdoms as far as we can go and we're gonna fly as far north as we can go now my understanding is silver moon is not flyable so still not flyable so we won't be able to go there uh while i am flying because it's gotta be more exciting than just me flying i'm going to be queuing up for um the follower dungeons now i was going to start i actually created a new Jack the Year, thinking I could start at the beginning expansion and test it as a leveling experience, but now it made me level 70 right away. <laughs> I haven't tried uh, hopping over characters that are below 70 to see how it is for them, uh, but I, I'm not going to worry about that tonight. So what I'm going to do is, as I am flying across the Eastern Kingdoms, as a Jack Deer doing dragon riding, uh, I'm going to queue up for these dungeons. There's one in particular... And I, I looked at it yesterday. That there's an item in there that you can only read if you have inscription or your direct there. There are little faint notes all over. That's the Azure Vaults. There's a method to this. Um, madness of mine. So in Follower Dungeons, yeah, the, um, the Azure Vault... There are notes scattered throughout that when you're running with a dungeon group, no one's stopping to let you look at them. <laughs> Some of them are not in the path either. They're kind of off to the sides. So I'm going to take my time and go through there. I found most of them on another character yesterday, but there was one that said you can only be read by um, a Drakthir or someone with inscription. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm coming in here with a Drakthir then. And I figured, well, I figured I was bringing my Drakthir over and I'll just run her through them. Um, what I really like about them is you get to really take your time. Um, just if it's the first time you're doing it and you want to know the story and you want to hit the story, and you don't want to just run through it. Uh, it's really fun. Um, because you can take your time and you can, you can pay attention to what's going on and finding out what the dungeon is about and like, oh, okay, there's these other things here I didn't know about. Uh, it, it's a different experience. And I think it's, you know, a lot of people are worried about it getting rid of the MMO aspect of it. I think, well, sometimes you don't feel like having a random group of people whose personalities you don't know thrust upon you <laughs> when you're like, I just want to know why Alex Strauss has sent me in here, man. I still don't know. Does anyone really know what's happening in the Halls of Infusion? Um, yeah, I mean, eventually, if you read up on it, you find out. But you, you rarely find out what's going on. And I would say this even in the first weeks of a rage. You rarely find out what's actually going on um, until later on. So you're, just, you're just running through trying not to die. Um, or just trying to kill through it. 
So, like, it took me at least four or five runs through um, Dawn of the Infinites to get the gist of what was happening there. Because um, I was like, wait, what? Where what? Uh, because they just run right through. So, I think for that purpose, I don't think it's going to do break the MMO feel. I don't think people are going to, like, who, who were fine queuing for dungeons before are going to go, no, I'm going to do it this way. Because I know... If there's a reward for doing heroic dungeons, which they just changed over the vault to have that, if there's no reward for running heroic dungeons and mythic is same slot, now you could get stuff for heroic. Hell yes, I'm going to be doing that too. So if I'm doing this, it's probably at the beginning of a storyline, you know, to do this, the quest that's usually associated with every dungeon. You know, find out more of the story, see more of the story, find out what happens. I can see this is only being a good thing. I'm hoping they even bring it into some sort of version of a raid. I'm not saying, like, you know, make LFR solo with uh, everything else filled out by NPC characters. That would be funny to watch, but I don't think I'd want to play it. Um, or maybe at least if, if they get it right, maybe. But, uh,. I think, you know, to have something like that so someone's like, oh, okay. Like, for instance, I'm sitting here waiting on the story because didn't take a frock last week. Hopefully take about this week. Hopefully get to see the story. So, you know, and then move on. Um, but, but yeah, so we'll, we'll see. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start flying north along the Eastern Kingdoms as a drag the air. And queue up for a dungeon. They're immediate. So I don't, you know, maybe I'll just fly a little bit and then I'll, I'll queue up because, you know, you're not waiting on anyone else. You could be a DPS and it pops immediately. Other wonderful thing about it, which makes me go, damn, why can't it be heroic? <laughs> that would make things easier, but it is what it is. I think, I think it, it's an additional thing. It's not taking anything away from anybody. It's just adding something. And I think it's, good for a whole myriad of reasons. Anyway. I now have, uh, let's well, a regular dragon. We don't need to do that anymore. So Soar basically is your summon mount. And I don't notice the reduced 20%. I'm just going to kind of crisscross because the Eastern Kingdoms are not exactly straight. Super casual night at some dungeon fun. Um I mean it still fizzles pretty fast. In fact I can see why they may not why they slowed it down because you would clear areas really fast. I don't see us clearing it any faster than these trees are so janky though. <laughs> and this is the post cata cleanup, you know? They were worse before. One of the things I'm curious about why I'm going in this direction is I want us to the blasted lands. Because I was wondering how they were, going to, they were going to work phasing it. I don't even know what phase it is in currently. She's never been to the Blessed Lances character. But it looks like... Well, it's... Legion blast Here's our uh
Here's our crew ready to bust through. She's clearly never been. So like I can't just like jump up twice and she can glide, but she can't. Glide. But she has her own dragon riding mount. Which makes me wonder is she gonna be able to do dragon racing? Because that's gonna be awesome. I'm not bothering to pick up any flight points or anything like that. I might. Just in case I get lazy later. But I don't have any stuff right now, so I'm just gonna have to. Let's take a hard stone back. Um. Gormy, where are you? Greetings. Show the blast lands before the invasion. Be careful. So let's see. And yet, there's no longer a super long wait time to get sore back. It's just basically your mount mounting. So now this is uh, pre warlords. See, your portal's a different color. It's good, it's good old green, good old green portal. So yeah, uh, phasing works. With phasing, perfectly fine. Um, northward. Well, we can go through Deadwind Pass, right? It's so weird though up here because it's like this is no one was meant to come up here. Well, you actually in Kata, I think by then. It's Karazan. <laughs> Spend a hundred vigor by dragon ring. I guess that's the thing. The trader's post this month. I must have gotten it by now on my regular account. I don't I don't even know. It'd be funny if I have it. <laughs> I'm getting achievements on this account. I don't have yet. That's annoying. I don't know if the dragon of uh the old one is the one that No, it's not the Yep, there it is. So the holiday uh, is here, the history holiday is here. Um is in effect. Even if the time, by the time we see this patch, I, I need to get out of that habit. Um, and then when I go back, I'm going to be confused again. Yeah, so they're having the Eastern Kingdoms Cup. I kept purposely flying out of bounds just so I could see what it would be like to dragon ride in the old world. And I'm like, this will work. Why can't they make it now? Clearly the um, the cups were kind of a intro test. Uh, some people might complain about the fact that they're sneaking, they're sneaking player testing like, without us realizing. I'm like, you don't have to do the cups. That's what you think. Um, I wonder if you got full cool, uh, transmog gear for it. But I had a feeling, it's like, they're testing wor worldwide dragon riding. That's what the cups are about. They just framed it in the game. Yeah, it's Blackrock. Oh, and we are flying through Blackrock. Um, dragon riding. We'll see how, so, so soon I hit a wall. We'll see how well this goes. Immediately. <laughs> oh, I can't dragon ride through. Interesting. Okay, so no dragon riding through. Wait. No, I can dragon ride through. I just can't soar through. 
Interesting. Okay, let me just check that. Yeah, no, I can. Hi. It's just really weird with stuff being so low. Um, one of the Wealthling daycare things has the Ruziono, who's the, the, the Black Wealthling, is um, just the first one you get. Her, her little race thing goes through Black Rock Mountain. I was like, oh, that's cute and also creepy. Mm -hmm. um, so now we are in Searing Gorge, the other side. It's so funny. I mean, if you go to like the Waking Shores and look at the um, the lava graphics for there, and then come over here and look at that, it's it's pretty funny. But I will grab this platform. It's a good midway point. Um. Oh, she already knows you got it. My attention. She knows all the flight points. Off with it. I didn't think she knew any of them because. Oh, Go to the bad lines. Sure, Day of the Deathwing quest is over here. Day of Deathwing came. That's when you punch Deathwing in the face. So hey. Hey Drakthir. Friend of mine. Do you know who did this? Have you heard of him? Just go by the name Natharian. Yeah. He wasn't nice. It's a very bad day. That's a good day. I mean, my general rule for, um, is Oldham of War. His legacy is over here. But I'm gonna queue for that as a follower. <laughs> uh, she can't solo that. I want to fly through Iron Forge. I'm gonna dragon ride through Iron Forge. Damn it. Ignoring all the nodes. Ignoring all the things that I'm just like, SHINY! I need to do it! No, I don't. This is purely exploratory. I mean, this is very much, very fun. Well, here we are. I knew it. No, don't, don't land. No, we could do it. We could do it. We could do it. Damn it. 
Because the problem is, is that you can't launch. <laughs> I was like, see if I can make it out without. So what's next on the map? Now I'm going south or something. We're not going to go to like weird areas like Bashar. That's underwater swimming. And I'm, there's, nothing, there's nothing to gain from there. Um, but like, I, I was tempted to go, should I fly out over sea? It's like, nah, probably die of fatigue. But I do wonder, and I may have to test it. It's Mendable Harbor. Like, I don't think I can fly out. If you stray into deep and untreaded waters, you will see a fatigue bar and then will become completely fatigued and will bring you down. Yes, I do know about that. Thank you. I thought it was trying to tell me something different in relation to the, uh... But I also know where I'm going. Thank you very much. Right into the ruins of Gilneas. I don't know if Gilneas is reclaimed yet. So that's the thing is you turn back into I have the visitor said to turn back into human, so I don't stay mounted when I land. So Still ruins of Gilneas. But does that look different? It's still raining. But does that look different? No, that's still the same. I was here a few weeks ago for the Appel. But that still looks like Gilneas. House up there, there's a manor up there. Um, I am really super excited about that. Barbara here, got some ruins on me. Gen's gonna no longer hang out in the Stormwind. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, try not to spoil anything about what happens. I mean, I haven't even experienced it in game yet, but I know it happens because I was watching other people. Um, I'm 
and I don't think Gen is going to want to hang out at a world tree. Oh, it, it just doesn't seem like, you know, a thing he'd want to do. This doesn't come across as wanting to hang out. I mean, he clearly doesn't. He's not, you know, he's not hanging with the night owls. Even if they did help his people adjust to being wargans. Seems very much, much more interested in uh, hanging out with the little families. Yeah, I mean, Terra's fall blades already. Um, Luron. I mean, that doesn't take too long at all, actually. Monastery. Playgrounds. Ah, uh, that weird area on the mount map you can't get past. <laughs> Yeah, you can't fly up there. This area right here, I think, is the area you can't. This little area. We'll see. My guess is you can't. There's a little, little sliver in the air. Yeah, you're still hitting that wall. Something there, though. Now we'll go land on this little hill here. This little sliver right here. Been a mystery forever. It's, I believe, it is actually Strathole. It's supposed to be Strathole. Which reminds me, you can't leave here without missing your shoulder. I mean, it's not like you can't fly there normal flying, but it's a novelty. I'll, I'll start hitting up dungeons soon. For funsies. Oh, it's gonna get chill Do. Well, actually, let me do that. Good. What if I turn the visage off or keep it to drag the air? If it'll let me, uh.
Interesting. I'm saying interesting because it could just be I have a different counter on my uh, my space bar, but it looks like the time for um... oh yeah, yeah, you can't cannot fly over strap. Will not let you do that at all. Um, the timing for whirling surge, as long as you have three, will let you go, but there is a timer countdown. But I think I have the numbers, and it looks like it's shorter, is my point. That there's a shorter wait, but I could just. The Death Knights kick us out, huh? It'd be great if you could, like, transform into flying mode mid-air, but you can't. Though so I am going to see something. I'm going to change the message. Yeah, like, you can't treat it like a flying mount. Like, I have... But I want to see it. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. This whole Death Knight intro scenario. Alright, let's see if it's going to let us, how far it's going to let us go. Probably not a there's that weird portal. I don't think you can fly there either in the area before it. I don't remember. But let's let's see. Let's see what happens. It's the PTR. We're supposed to try to break the game. We're supposed to find the bugs, right? Right? So what I'm going to do, I mean, I'm, I basically flew the length of the Eastern Kingdoms. I just didn't capture every little corner and I wasn't going to do that anyway. <laughs> it's already a half hour. I am going to port back to Veldraken. Champion, may I have a word with you? Sorry, Shantress. I can't help you. No, it's not even what I want to do. But it works anyway. So, nope, wrong.
I'm going to set myself up in Kalimdor. I think the closest I can get is Mount Hyjal. So, some of the men hydro go as far north as I could possibly go. I think Darnassus is probably phased. But I'm curious to know if you can fly over Darnassus. So, um, we are going to do that. I do not want to go that far. Let's go men hydro. Good. I was like, that portal better work. I hope that portal works. My Tajal. I only had another fly point. I am honored. Ah. Technically, the highest point is Dolinar, Teldrassil, which is the first town night elves end up in. I'm going to take a short break. You could watch me fly. It's chilly, so I need to get a hoodie. And trafficking. What is the temperature right now in this fair city of mine? Aside from cold. It is definitely that. It was 34 degrees when I woke up, and I'm like, yep, yeah, here we go. No denying it. say winter is coming so it's not an intentional game of thrones reference oh night song yes why is night song playing here oh okay yes we're dark show well i want to hear night song gonna take me to uh clearly tell your silver okay at the moment. Yeah, I don't have the explanation for 
Teldrassil, in terms of why it looks like a chop tree trunk with a tree inside, but I'm missing some part of the lore there that I'm not aware of. Uh, weather. I was looking at how cold it is. <laughs> News and weather. You need to know how I have things organized on my phone. That's why I'm speaking out loud. Are you don't <laughs> what the forecast, which is one of my favorite apps. Mostly clear 40, it's gonna drop to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It feels colder than 40 out. I'll tell you that much. I did have a short sleeve shirt. I am not the camp of night held players that had a problem with them. The uh Amir just still ending up where Teldris is. For a few reasons. In the history of the Keldari people. It's a blink of an eye. Uh, Nordrasil has the history and the place in, in, in Keldari. You know, so Ateldrassil was Fandrel's like trying to restore immortality because sacrifice made it Nordrassil, and Mazdormu was like, Shh, no, I'm not gonna make you eternal, immortal again. Um, and it got corrupted, so it was a not a great tree created for bad reasons that only had a very short history. <laughs> so, I'm not saying its losses and devastating, there were a lot of lives lost. It became the main city. It's the main city, it was the main city for, for night elves. For a lot of folks relocated there, especially after Mount Hydral was, uh, was uh, sacrificed. It's coming back. Mount Hydral's coming back. Anyway, but a lot of night elves moved here. And when Sylvanas torched it, died. So, it has a tragic past, it's a tragic history, it has a tragic history, but the place itself doesn't matter as much. The souls that ended up in Ardenweald, that were in the seed, that helped grow a Mirdrasil, is far more significant than the loss of, 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 uh, it, it's far more significant than getting a tree back that was already, had problems with it, and wasn't that old to begin with. Amirdrasil is the start, the proper restart that the Kaldroi deserved after Nordrasil was sacrificed to defeat Archimonde. Alright, so here we are in Dolinar. And what I'm going to do before anything else is I'm going to queue up. We're not getting achieves in a PTR. <laughs> That's me telling myself that. We're not getting achieves in a PTR. We're going to stay here and we're going to queue up for our first follow the dungeon. That's what we're going to do. I just wanted to get myself here first. Uh, let's see. Let's do... We can do them in order. Oh, and technically we got Olderman Legacy of Tear, partly the pea patch. Bragginhide Hollow. I am so curious to see how well that one goes. <laughs> it's always such a disaster. Yeah, you know what? Let's do them in order. Let's do them in order. No, let's not. Let's go to the other. No, let's do them in order. <laughs> you wanna know why? Yeah. And then I'll just fly and then every once in a while stop and pop into a new one. Dungeon assistance. Let's go and save some dragons. Well met. Greeting, Mage Chamber. I will come in. 
for later. Set you up a... Yeah, so set you up... Apparently I haven't done this one yet. <laughs> anyway, set you up at the mage table. You have your fire mage. We got a fire mage. Um, Captain Garrick is a paladin. Tank. We've got our Krenna Earth Daughter, who is our healer. Um, Druid, I believe. And Judge Greymane, who... Grimax, rather, who is... Fury? No, Shaman. Oh, she's got the, uh... Yeah, the set she's got on is, uh... Legion set. Um... So yeah, so we are here. We're gonna do this. Now, here's what I know. Um, you can lead the way, but I am not a tank. So you can choose, one of the options I had that popped up here immediately was dungeon resistance, toggle to allow a follower to lead the way. So the person leading the way is going to be your tank. Who is? Captain Garrick. Alex Raza charged us with protecting the life pools from the Primalists. I pray they have not infiltrated too deeply. Ensure the eggs are safe and eliminate any threat on these sacred grounds. So, I mean, these dungeon runs are not going to be super quick or exciting or fast. I require a target. I guess I don't have the command turned off to not tell me. And usually I try to turn those off for streaming. Reinforcements! So. Protect Melidrusa! She must continue her work. Allow so, her no um, further! While she's not as annoying I require as some a real tanks can be, she does run ahead of me. does run ahead of it. But not too much. I don't play Dread Your Bird. I need to. There's stuff I need to do. Kids keep a gag row. I think you have to watch out for these eggs because they will attack you. Or not. have a target she will come like if you step back a bit well no she's she's still going she's still going general has found that the uh generally has found that the uh, AI is Better than I thought it was going. It is functioning better than I thought. She does, the tank does tend to pull stuff that you like, you could skip that. I do not have a target. Like, we didn't, we probably could have gotten past them in a real group. But, like, fine. Nothing too major. See, she's pulling stuff behind me, which we didn't. Know. 
so it's gonna take a little longer to get through that than normal. Target something first. I do not have a target. Great. <laughs> okay, so she doesn't run up. I don't think she ran up too far ahead. In any case, she will bring enemies back. So you can accidentally get the hits out. Need to be careful. I'm just checking for other stuff. I don't think there's anything too much of note here. Oh, I, I haven't even buffed my party. I will not allow you to disturb Melodrusa's work. dying the heels are coming in aggro is being maintained I need to target something first so that I could return these eggs to their natural You will not interfere! I mean, she does tend I to interfere. Consume you. The dialogue. But that's been one of my main issues. My I only issue, sorry, really. But I need your strength, little one! With the follower adventures so As I feel for boss fights... Too far away. No. These belts are I think pure. there needs to be a ready check. They will show you the truth. I require a target. I do not have a target. I consume you. Be frozen and shattered. Yeah, I mean, it's really... Good work, champion. Now that you have secured the pools below, I require your aid And I've above. already made that suggestion. Um, it's like... Oh, look! They wait for me to get on it first. As opposed to running ahead. Um, and taking them all, and then I got over run around to this one left because I wasn't fast. But um yeah. The exposed um, life pools are in grave danger. A powerful primalist is attempting to burn all the nesting areas. You must clear them to get to her. I will keep watch from above while I confront the dragon who is leading this assault. Protect the pool first. Quickly take the eggs save as many as you can Like, where are we going first? I need to so target something A little bit delay first. coming in. Where are they going? What are they doing? What are 
are they doing? No, come this way. It's a little sloppy here. I am out of range. I require a target. I'm like I'm not even really paying attention. I mean, she's not. She's four eleven here. She's well above what's needed for her. They know to stay out of my circle. But I did, really did not take that to me. Um, well done. You have secured the first pool. Now see to the others. It's funny because normally the uh, most dungeon groups that come in here go the other way. But hey. It doesn't matter. Um, I do not have a target. I'm trying to get a target. Excuse me. Out. Do not let the primalists desecrate Ugh. this hallowed space. Right. Are we going to wait and let folks heal up? Yeah. So yeah, I like I like that they wait. <laughs> And she's keeping like the inside track. I require a target. I need to target something first. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. I was trying to see if they actually like, walk into the circle and the healer went walk right into it. Trouble ahead. Trouble ahead. Trouble ahead. I require a target. Well, the rest seem to know to you go are out almost to the master of these minions. Hurry onwards, champion. Everyone's healing up. I mean, the other positive thing about 
this is I get to uh, one healing up. Good. Let everyone healed up. Um, is if I want to try out augmentation, I could. If I want to try out the healing spec, but I can't remember the name of it. I could. The last target. pool is safe. She is exposed. Attack that primalist before she can summon reinforcements. I want my boots. See, like, I would like ready. No. I will honor I, the sacrifice of my like, allies and burn through you myself. It doesn't matter how. Like how far back I stand. If the boss is there, she'll run towards it. The other thing I'd like an option is. And I did already make this request. Um, I did make the suggestion to choose when you want to use time warp bluffs to cure. Um, because often it'll be used on whatever boss you're on. Now, as it turns out here, the way it works out. Vile is... monster! I protect these life pools! It'll oh, expire no. by the time we get to the next boss, which is the final one. I mean, in case you haven't noticed, it's the Exiles Reach crew who's in your party, which is great. Because, like, if it's someone that's coming from just starting the game, just getting into it now, they're going to recognize these characters, who also are at the start of Dragonflight.
They require a target. Queen cannot stop us. We are the truth. So she doesn't wait. See, she just runs right ahead. Oh God, deal with Too far away. Oh, I'm right in the way. My pleasure. <laughs> That I thought I would think I was gonna die. It's really all Thank you, you champion. For. The life pools are safe for the moment, but the primalists are still a threat. We must be vigilant, lest we be caught off guard again. Life binder be with you. Are you sure you would like to leave the instance? Yes. Honor the life binder. <laughs> I've never exited this way. <laughs> but why not? I mean, I guess that's cool if you want to, uh, I guess if your hand, if you're not in Dolinar, um, if you entered from the beginning of that dungeon, it makes sense. Because that's where the quest turn in is, which apparently I haven't done on her yet. So. Whoops, that is not my map button. We are going to start in the Night Elf starting area. Definitely a different experience from flying through a Midras, so. So. So this is actually Aldrasil? Which is your starting tree. A you start. A you start. Well, no one can start here, so I'm kind of confused to where the starting zone is. I think it's here, actually. Over there. There's not anyone starting a character right now. Here it is. Elithar stack helm. Any relation? Any relation? Defendro? Here you go. He sh this is, I believe, your first quest giver. Peace be with you. Train young evokers like you. Technically, you wouldn't have known about my existence. 
um, and ensure that the balance of nature is maintained. These spring rains have partially heavy in the cheer, causing some of the forest bees to flourish while yeah, kill, kill five young night sabers. It, it's the starting quest you get. Um, I'm not accepting that. Good Don't luck. make me accept that. No, I'm not accepting it. It literally is the first quest you get as a if you're if you start in a night night elf area. I don't. Okay, this is this is a PTR. I'm not going to worry about it being in my class log right now. I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, we are going to start from the northernmost zone on the map, which is kind of where we are. Kind of a little more than yeah. So that here. We'll start from here. Shadow Gun is where you start as a knight up if you can do it. Unless, of course, you're starting from XL's Reach. What is that? Shadow Thread Cave. That's Spider Cave. So we're just gonna fly past Dolinar. I don't think I can fly to Azure Mist and Blood Mist, Blood Mist Isles from Teleport. Yeah, I'm at the gates of Darnassus already. Pick up some yams. Good old Temple of the Moon. Some Draenei here, Hellfire Peninsula portal. I'm just doing it to do it. Um, mostly I want to see what models are being used. I think they were the up they were the updated Legion models. Which means Toronto has those weird boots. Little bump tail. Yeah, yeah. She's got the little little bouffant do that she had in Legion. Um and these weird these shoes which just do not look comfortable at all. Like, they just do not look comfortable. Like, your feet are half in, they're half out, they're just, I, I don't know. Anyway, mouth. Hey, mouth. Um, so yeah, it's the uh, Legion models are in here. I remember that Dahlia Sunblade it might be mentioned in something, but I don't remember offhand. Casual wisps wandering about. The Lunar Festival. I think these are mooncakes. You can take them then. Lots of beast trainers.
Now, I, mean, I know I can. I, I did fly away from Garcia, didn't I? Is it possible, though? I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. I've never actually done this. I may find out the hard way. Yeah, there's a block on the map. You cannot fly to Azure Mystic. So I mean I can't fly there so I can't go there. This is it's an all flying mission. But we had to get Teldrassil in, of course. Because being able to dragon ride in phased zones is awesome. I think. So what I am going to do is hop on a flight point, grab the flight point, and go to Mungli. Ishnuala. I mean, Lord Danell kind of counts. I could kind of loop around, I guess. Um, yeah. The Lord didn't know. I'm gonna queue for the next one though. Next up is the Noku Defense, which is a flying Dutch, but apparently a lot of folks, self included, did not know. There's a not fly option. So we're gonna look at that. I got, I got, I got, I do not have the, uh, I have our hunter friend here, Austin Huxworth. As opposed to our fire mage, cool. You can drag and ride to Granth on your map, or use a flight master to go to the Battle of Spears. So, apparently... Good, you are here. I welcome Onara's rage. When the winds are still, I will suspect the worst. The Tirai, Shikar, and Onir clans must rally to free her and defeat Balakar Khan. At this point, people are already taking Do down like, the first Do what must course. be done to prepare them. Our combined forces will meet outside Nokodun Hold. I will await you there. We could buy stuff. Time grows short. Ride the winds of Onara's fury to reach them quickly. I was just checking. I also sell some stuff. Do not have this luxury. I'm doing this normally. There you raise many daughters. So apparently. So every time you go into a dungeon, uh, you have to select to um, hand over leadership to the tank. Uh, but so for the first one, I am going to use a flight master. I'm 
Dragon running still through to bell. I've never gotten this alert. I don't know if it's new with the followers or if it's always been there. Hold your dog. I did not know this was here. Battle of Spears and Nuka Defensive. So they, they tell you where to go next. Off. I'll tell you the first two times I did this, I didn't know where the hell I was going. I was just learning the dragon ride. I was like, what? But they don't seem to follow you on. There's Grant, Graneth. Rock, get it, granite. Grant. Yeah. <laughs> I can spare no hunters for the Kanamatra now. The proto dragon Granith was nearly in our grasp when Balakar's warriors ambushed us. We must retake our weapons of war and drive the Nokud back. When Granith's blood soaks the ground, our purposes can align. I need to target something first. So yeah, so the two things I'm hoping they introduce is, uh... Let fly! The two things I'm hoping they introduce is... A way to control when... Hero, lust if you're bored, trying to be fair. Um... Activated. This seems to be pretty much it's a boss and it's available. <laughs> when you know damn well you want to kind of save it for a boss that really needs it. They appear to be shooting us, we should stop them. <laughs> That's excellent advice, Hunter. Thank you, tips. They don't really give tips for, um, they don't really give tips for, uh, mechanics. So, like, we should step out of that. That attack's going to hurt. Well done! Keep retaking the weapons! Two more remain! Like, I've done this a few times and it feels so much more chaotic for the group. What? No. I mean, she's just pulling everything, but I don't know if we want to do that necessarily. I do not have a target. Target something first. to the final weapon!
I mean, if you know where, uh, which ones are, where the bosses are, you probably could switch control and then kind of use that as your finish. Four bosses that are running in. The battle has turned. The weapons are ours. Because then she's going to run right in. I will dispose of the outsiders myself. Like I probably didn't want to do that. Right has landed. Strike now. Die! This land is mine! Tremble before primal power! Die! Ready to fire! Can you stand against my might? I think you can, I think you can actually use these. Yeah, if I wanted to, I can go up to there. Wow, are we gonna wipe? We wiped! We wiped! Oh yeah, so we're gonna reach for it. No biggie. We're healing up. It's all good. We get a dragon ride this time. We get a dragon ride. So I know what I like. Usually the fight goes a lot faster. I know that. I will dispose of the outsiders myself. And we got it this time. Granith has landed! Strike now! Where is he? There. Your sky darkens! This land is mine! Tremble before primal power! Die! Ready to fire! Can you stand against my might? Trying to position myself between the other two. Die! This land is mine! Tremble before primal power! Ready to fire! Die! This land is mine! Can you stand against my might? I never had to worry about this before. Let's fly! Incarnate! Save me! My thanks. The Shikar will hunt Balakar down at Nokudan. I mean, groups I were in before, you never had to choose them. <laughs> the Balliste. So. I just never did. No biggie.
actually don't know where the five point is over here. She knows where she's going. Go for it, isn't she? Yep. Clan No Kud has used Onara's song to conjure an avatar of the storm. Blasphemy! The storm must be quieted and the elemental within it defeated before Clan Omir can join the Kanamatra. Their primalist allies have placed totems that protect this raging tempest. Find them and destroy them. Yeah, this is a fight point. Truly a blasphemous item. Continue your work. I require a target. letting her lead the way. I do not have the primalist power weakens. Gotta uh, keep my some good people for spits. Best to take this group out, honestly. Tank. So I'm gonna get. I, see, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm yelling at an AI tank. Look, I just know that this this roaming cat gets pulled into the boss fight. One more totem, quickly. Whoa. Me. Oh no. is and I don't know if it's just chance or not but I do actually feel like my contributions are needed you know it's not like I could just sit here and they'll take them out for me I mean they probably could but I feel like I'm at least if nothing else making the process go by a little bit quicker I need to Final target totem something crumbles. crumbles. Now take down the avatar of the storm. I do not have a target.
boss time, boss time. See, she runs right in. See, a ready check would be nice. Maybe I want to take a sip of my water. You know, maybe I... I Today we use Onara's gifts to free her. We will journey to Nokudin Hold. Fly, outsider! Valakar's power grows! Considering... How this one is. Clan to... Bukel has allied with Clan Nokud. Today, they will regret that alliance. They have desecrated the graves of our first She's ancestors, Tira and Maruk. Destroy these grave robbers and return our ancestors to their rest before they are forced to fight in I mean, Balakar's considering manner. what's involved in this dungeon, they require a target. I'm impressed at how well the AI is following. Raise, raise me. I require Again. a target. So I just discovered regular flying is possible in this dungeon, <laughs> which was not before. So old style flying is available. Surprise! Wow, they ran into everybody, didn't they? I need to target something first. Considered. Are we going to res our, uh, our I'm 
<laughs> res her? Can I res her? I have a res I never use. Um. Oh. Okay. It's a little slow to realize that, but okay. Res and she's off. Stump on your grave. You hear noise in the background. My cat. One of my cats is busted. He found a bottle cap. He steals bottle caps, actually. Require a target. The first ancestors shall rise. <sighs> so I can fly regular flying. So I'm gonna do that right now. I am the messenger of death. I need to target something first. No, I cannot face my ancestors. Very excited right now. I, you don't have to fight death, but okay. <sighs> So she could be a little less, like, go go about running in. I'm just gonna run, because you know what I can't do? That won't follow me in. She wants to fight. <laughs> I can't stop from wanting to fight. This is gonna be another crazy one. Okay, I thought it was gonna pick up that side path. Really happy about his about his uh bottle cap. Eagles will feast on your flesh. Ooh. about that before. Not my problem. Okay, here we go. Boss battle time. So she... No, no ready check. You know you took damage. Necromancers. On our oh, sacred grounds? This is what has become of our leg. You shall pay for this blasphemy with range. your lives. And that's kind of that's kind of part of the like, You don't get me. to hear the dialogue because 
you don't get the ready check. I mean, the way around that is... Turn the off wind me. guides my arrows. But technically, a good lead... Well, give me a Flee before me. Away from him. Rend the earth. I must get closer. Flee before me. I am out of range. Peace at last. Protect my children. You can drag my to Palakar Khan on your map. I'll use the flight master to go to Nuka. So Balakar Khan is beyond mercy. Clan Tirai will join our Khan at Nokudan Hold. I'm gonna dragon ride here. Um Centaur. Stop I always try to hopes. aim for Blow the your horns. Let the rage left of Onara guide you. Thanks. Shakar! Follow the thunder of your Khan's attack! And of oh, course near. the other thing is, is the no wind mother regiment. calls us to war. You cannot fly here. Daughters and sons of Tira, charge! Does she know this route? Huh. I this will is the route we go. power for more than breezes and blessings. My storm will bring forth a mighty no. Maruk. Come back Greatness here. Greatness awaits us. We are going to do it this way. <laughs> this is the way we're doing it. It very much wants to go... See, I'm so used to going Too that far way. Away. Everyone Quiet everybody. Quiet everybody. Quiet everybody. Awesome. Oh no. No, that's not good. That's not good. I must get closer. That's what happened. We survived. So shortcuts don't quite work with followers. I do not have fine. a target. Be good. Be good. Yes. Your skulls will shatter beneath my hooves. Slash and skewered. The weak must die. I am you out will of range. Trampled into dust. Slash and 
you are! If the Eagle Mother will not gift me, I will take it! This land is our birthright! That went okay, so I'm not worried about it. I mean, I'm not gonna say a bug is if you try to do shortcuts. Balakar's weapon will be broken. I think that's my. He design. will not take a place of honor with the ancestor Khans. My thanks, outsider. Onara now flies free. And without Balakar's influence, Clan Nokud may heal. Good job, everyone. We're done here now. You can leave any time. But I can do this now. <laughs> I can do this. I mean, it's just, it's, I didn't even realize you could do this until now. Well, I mean, I'm guessing this has become available. If this might, the being able to fly in this dungeon using regular flying might be available now. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay. So let's leave instance. Where were we? Oh, right. The next one I'm going to do... I oh, know. Ah, man. I want to see how Bracken Hunt Hollow goes. What I am going to do is... I'm not, I'm not going to do Bracken Hunt Hollow. I'm going to... I think I'm going to just skip to the Azure Vault. Um, we'll do the Azure Vault and then we'll just fly. That's all we'll do is fly. Um, see, Dark Short. Huh. Weird. It's like it's dark. Mm. This is the dark show I think is pre BFA. But Teldra still. Yeah, it's pre BFA, but I don't know. I don't know what survives it. It could be post Kata. It's in Kata. Alright. Do the actual because I do want to read those documents. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do all of them tonight. Kind of tired. <laughs> magic, magic hidden here. Well lit. Greetings, anyone peckish? May table ready. Earth Mother bless us all. Taroga. Syndra goes to show up. Be wary, champions. 
My vault is many things, but harmless is not one of them. These whelplings perceive anyone not of my blood as a threat. Their gaze pierces all. If they see you, all nearby creatures will awaken to purge you from the vault. It's like she's giving you instructions. You may have not even heard that part. Um, I don't think there's anything to read in this room. But we are going to check. We're going to check everything. This is going to be a long one, which is why I was like, it's my oh, oh no, oh no. I don't have her lead right now. I need to target something first. I require a target. The Sundered Flame have been delving into my vault. They do not understand the dangers within, nor the powers they meddle with. So, normally the tactic people use when they go through here is they just go around the whelplings. Captain Garrick normally will not let that happen. Do not have a target. So I everything's require gonna a come target. Your way. I'm stuck. <laughs> So she's not that great. Captain Garrick is not that great. A lot of people, they just jump off the edge here. We're not jumping off the edge here. <laughs> We're going down the stairs. Um, she's not that great. Oh, something in the mailbox. With avoiding those whelps. which you're told to avoid. So I may, after this next boss, I'll put in a report. I also got mail. Brew of the Month Club, I'm not gonna worry about that. <laughs> Once, my beloved Malagos gifted me with arcane seeds. I planted them here. A little garden. I need to me. target something first. It looks as though it has grown wild over the years. I will need you to prune it. If you've not done the Blue Dragonfly quest line, this is going to be a spoiler, so I'll give you like five seconds to turn away. 
but one, two, three, four, five. Okay, spoiler time, spoiler time. Um, the simulacrum of Cinder Ghost it did say that she's gone for now. So I hope that she does return because I kind of really like like having her in the game. I like having her in the game. Unexpected surprise uh, going into it that we would have to see who be dealing with Cinder Ghost. I do not have a target. Who would be helping us? So. I require a target. Minor spoil. Nothing too huge, but. It's an excellent quest. <laughs> Me being tired of waiting. It's the last one. I don't think there's a book in this room. I must get closer. This threat. Is she making dungeon specific jokes? No, see, no. That's... We did not need to use warp. <laughs> we did not need to use warp on this boss. I've already made that suggestion now. That we should be in control of when there is no issues. sign of the sundered flame here. Or at Come, least we can choose way. when to use the word. Um oh shoot, I meant to put feedback for I'm not not going there yet. I'm going to take time to see what's in this room, which is something I never get to do when I'm in here with a random group. Um So I forgot to put in the complaint about the uh the whelps and that you're, you're clearly told to avoid them but your followers absolutely do not or at least your tank does not captain garrick does not she she pulls them intentionally I'm leading this time because she does like to pull a lot of things. The location of my vault was chosen to harness and make use of this powerful ley line. While in marvel to behold, I am unsure of what effects it will have on your mortal form. Do be on the lookout for the growth of extra appendages. So like She's not leaving. See? Why is she doing that? <laughs> oh. 
You can avoid them. She does not. She sees them and she's like, must kill now. Um, which is fine. But here's actually one of the areas I wanted to explore um, that I would not normally be able to. I need to target something first. So normally folks just keep going, 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 run, 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 run. They don't go over here. Yet I had noticed in previous, like, there are things to read. Um, and I was like, oh, there's something over there to read, but you don't get the chance to. Now we can. Log entry, Tome of Titan, Tome of Titan Poetry. We recently discovered a curious tome deep within a titan hold. It appears to be a collection of poetry written by Norganon. The imagery is explicit. Leaving me to question its authenticity. But I should probably file it away regardless. Norganon apparently writes explicit poetry. Or someone is trying to make him look bad. Um, which then raises just additional questions. Uh, but there was another book. Here it is. So this book right here. Um, I think this is the one. When I came in on, with Arlea, who is an alchemist. It said can only be read by Drakthir or someone who has inscription. So many questions, I know. Um, but I, I, I'm in here on a drag there for this is one of the reasons. Oh. Oh, for F's sake. The pages of this book contain ancient spells that are hard to decipher. This is more than I could read as not a drag there. Uh, memorize the runic spell. Requires, I can't. Okay. Um, she doesn't have inscription. <laughs> but okay. But yeah, not available to um, reverse trap. Reverses the magic on polymorphic runes in the selected area to only affect enemies. Where's that? I don't even know where that is. So... Uh, when I came in here in Arle, I couldn't read that book. So I was like, okay, I'll bring a draft there in here. Now, granted, I thought that I could be smart and multitask and create a new draft there. Since I can't create a new draft there on my current live account, because I have... You can only have one per server. It's kind of like how Death Knights and Demon Hunters used to be. <laughs> Now it doesn't matter. But Jack the Air that way now. And um, I was trying to create one so I could record the first part of the intro Jack the Air quest, which I couldn't get because I wasn't streaming that. But anyway, um, if you create a new Jack the Air. You have discovered one of my books of translocation. Since the majority of the vault's caretakers are flightless, I incorporated a means of safe travel via these tomes. I don't even know what this does. Um, so yeah, I thought I could do that, but if you create a new Drakthir, your Drakthir is... level 70. <laughs> and already has everything. And you can't start the quest over again. I was like, oh! Fuck! So I'm going to have to wait until uh, they let me create another drag here. I think you missed it, though. Um, and it might be possible now, but in Noku Defensive, you know, the flying dungeon, uh, you can use regular flying mounts. Also, there are flight points. Bet you didn't know that one. There's a place to get flight points. 
but you came in after I did that one. So there were flight points before that. You're not an idiot because you because you don't like dragon riding. <laughs> that doesn't make you an idiot. I mean, honestly, I was lost as hell in Noka Defensive 2, but after about the fourth or fifth time of getting lost, I figured out where stuff was. But I run dungeons all the time, so it's, you know, I do familiarize myself where stuff is. Um, but what I never knew, because people were always racing was that there is actually flight points in the dungeon that you can use if you don't want to do dragon riding. It's, I was like, wait, what? Um, it was actually in Tally Avatel, uh, the, the second stream. He, he, he finds it there. It, it was a surprise to him, too. He was like, wait, we can always do that? Um, but now you could use regular flying. At least I could use regular flying here. I've got to try that in... Um, means I have to run a regular dungeon. Uh, I'll run a heroic. Now that they have the vault that you can run heroics and get stuff for. Um, to see if regular flying is available. Right. Look, that's something you can't do. They have, to, they have to move on my speed. I have to finish saying what I was saying. Proceed on. So I don't Oh, I must... My thing ran out. <laughs> I don't know what that thing was for, but anyway, I was able to click on it. Uh, let's see. Now, I can let her lead. She gets a, she gets a little too... She gets a little... I start to pull everything. I need to target something first. So I still don't know what that thing was for, but I was able to read it. I do not have a target. I require a target. I should turn. Where is she going? She's running the other way. <laughs> she will also pull. She likes to keep to the edges, but she pulls anyway. It's like she likes to keep to the edges to avoid enemies, but she pulls them anyway. Nobody fall off the edges. I do not have a target. See, she's already on the next one. So. BTR! I'm not exactly sure what actually happened. I need to target something first. It looks like something happened when one of them tried to cast something on me.
I guess this one? Yeah, I saw that. I'm gonna listen to it later. Why did you pull all that? I need to target something first. I should know the spell that our uh, shaman's using on me, <laughs> which is a free action. Um, I forget to use it on myself, but uh... oh no, 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 that's a paladin thing. All right, you're. I guess you're done with that. Wild Magic Coalitions are an effect is unknown. It's... Oh! I guess that's what she meant by watch out for extra limbs. But, um... <laughs> this is the first time anything like this has happened. In this dungeon. Okay, where was she? Oh, she was hiding out over there. All right, are you gonna actually walk past them? Awesome. Cause that is a, that is that is smart. We don't need to fight them. Scarlet adaption. Okay, your next living flame will deal. Alright, apparently that was not that. Onward! No, yes, hold, yes. No, 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 so no. beautiful, so powerful, all for me. Last time she ran right in and pulled the boss, we hadn't cleared much of the room. the name of the spell. Or else I would just submit it. Come, come. We're gonna look for books. So there's one over here. Log entry. Malagos is concerned. Malagos is concerned with the magic these highborn have been utilizing. He is worried that they are in capable of mastering it and will only present a danger to the world. I believe with time and guidance 
the young races can achieve wonders, but Malagos is not convinced. I do understand we must safeguard the magic of the world, but that does not mean we should hoard it only to ourselves. So, hi, Born. Um, night elves are messing with magic. Malagos has concerns. Bad things may come of it. You know, for fact, bad things do come of it. But yeah. But Cinder Ghost is just leaving her notes around here. Which is kind of cool. Worth worth looking for. I mean, nothing shocking, nothing new, except for Ganon writing, uh, smart poetry. <laughs> That's a big to do. I do not have a target. I do not have a target. I don't think there's any more over here. Um, yeah, we already looked at that, right? Yeah, I think it's only already. This is uh, yeah. I thought there was another one in this room. Is... I do not blame her. 
What's he writing I should it have about? thought of her before I left. This door. I sense a breach behind it. The sundered flame must be this way. My question is... He was writing explicit poetry. He was writing explicit poetry about someone. Or he was writing it about himself! Who knows? Who knows? It's the same thing, right? It's mine. All right, I think I go. Ooh. We have to go this way. So, who was Norganon writing explicit poetry about? And if he wasn't writing explicit poetry, who was writing it trying to make him look bad? I hate to say it. But I could think of one... I don't know if that would be a method he would use, though. Um... Give someone. And now I'm writing my own fanfiction here of uh, Miltharian <laughs> writing it and giving it to Malikos <laughs> as like a goof or a joke. Oh, Tome of Transmorphic. Okay, so there's another one. I don't know what these do. Um, I don't know what these do. Maybe they do affect. Oh. Tear this place apart if you have to. We're in the frog room. I will expose whatever secret she locked away within these vaults. Talash must not break the final seal. The consequences will be dire. Please, hurry. I am out of range. Checking to see you. I know there's something to read in here. I'm pretty sure. Of it. Scroll here. Log entry. The Dragon Soul. Speaking of Neltharium. Malagos is utterly enchanted with an artifact Neltharian created. This Dragon Soul will supposedly help in the fight against demons. But the price to create it seemed far too steep. I hesitate to even say it, but I do not trust the Earth Order. I mean, this is a bit of information that kind of filters out through the course of the game, if you're paying attention. Um, 
uh, Sindragosa does not trust Neltharion. Malagos is like, but he's my best friend. I trust him. And he proceeds to lose Sindragosa and nearly his entire flight and goes mad. And then wanders around with little insect legs for a while or something. <laughs> Listen, just trust me. So, yeah, I mean, and like I'd see those little parchment things, but there was no time to stop and look at them. And most people actually skip the whole frog area anyway. That's when they skirt around the, the edge. Like, do you need to do this every time? No, but it's nice to do it at least once. You know? So please. Do not have a target. Man, I just get so mad about it. I need to target something first. I require a target. I kinda wish the frog didn't land on there because I want to zoom in on. So these are Terrasec. Um they're an elemental infused terror sack. But if you've not noticed the visage that Farak has taken, um, that he chose, very terror sack like. One of these dudes. There's a part in the war that scale wounds I think that would be I need to target something that first. That goes into a discussion about uh, visages and what made the aspects want to have them, um, and then what made the incarnates want to have them. Because yes, yeah, you'd be right that they would consider it below them to want to look like what they consider to be lesser. However, Terrasec play an interesting role. I do not have a target. Require a target. Asia. 
Oh. <laughs> So that's what those do. I am a chicken. This never happens. I am a chicken. I can't do anything about it. I am a chicken. I just ran over because I was curious to see like this. I guess I just I think I guess I just avoid it initially. <laughs> Usually don't step in them. I do notice I've got like I've gotten the uh, alerts like you don't know what it does, which is weird. There's an escape. That's right. We're beating all the scrolls. Log entry. An end? Naltharion's weapon is complete. We fly out to meet the demon armies soon. I am leaving a sim simulacrum in the archives and locking them down for safekeeping. I am examining the situation from every angle. Malagos should be should the worst occur. The simulacrum will explain everything that I could not. If only there were more time. I love you. So, oh, if you don't know what happens after that point, um, that's the War of the Ancients. Lothar uses a demon soul. The dragon soul at that point becomes a demon soul after. It becomes a dragon soul again. Later. Anyway, um, Sundragosa gets basically thwapped so hard she gets knocked into dragon blight. Uh, which is where Arthas finds it later <laughs> and raises her at the start of the intro I need to target something first I don't think there are any other I think that is the last of the uh, scrolls it, it makes it seem like it's the last of the scrolls but yeah Now, yesterday when I did this, they kind of. I already um, recorded it. It's not really a. What is she hiding? Feedback. But. They were not very good at um, the frost mechanic. Are we all here? So much like, I'm not even trusting her because she's going to run ahead and pull. Um. She sent you enough. Freeze. They they don't really leave room. <laughs> Her secrets will be mine. They don't move him out of it. Now you will pay. I must get closer. They do at least get in the bubble. Will 
Ice cold. Too far away. We're in the ice under the bubble. Freeze! <laughs> I reported the ice thing yesterday. Oh. I was like, they don't really step out of it. <laughs> Mother! This is sad. My and we already used your... time warp in the last battle, so. Which there was really no need to this point. It's really sad. I do not have a target. No! I will not go! I mean, it's terrible. That wild magic was dangerous, but he meddled with it anyway. By the time we found him, we could not stop the growth. I placed him in stasis until I could find a proper cure. And then... I was gone. Champion, you did what was needed and ended his suffering. Thank you. I am but a simulacrum, but once, I was a mother as well. Please, leave me to mourn. What flight do you hail from? Just put you at the start of it and we can talk to some Jagosa and take a shortcut. Hmm. You are a fascinating one. I believe the shortcut was here before, but it, this one definitely needs it the way some folks run it. But yeah, Fair I do like to give you strong instructions wings. and tell you how to, to do it. So yeah. And I'm not going to do, um, why is it not progressing? Why is, why am I stuck on the screen? 
I mean, I am. I am on the PTR. Um, so back on Hollow uh, is the other one I wanted to see because that one is another complete and utter shit show running with a group, but and never getting a chance to really explore stuff. So, um, I was thinking about that one, but I think that's enough though for the dungeon tonight. You get the idea. Most of the Azure um, Vault is what I really wanted to look at, all those scrolls and stuff. But what we're really doing, we're shifting now. We are now flying. That's not how one flies. There we go. Not my map. that night song teaser. I forgot to check in Dark Shara what phase it was in. So now, other than tell yourself, I am at the most northern part, Kalimdor. Winter Spring, right? Yep. I'm only going to Winter Spring a little bit. The weird sort of pull thing, pull back and pulling things a little weird, but. Trying to fly up to Mount Idol from Winter Spring. There you go. Are you going to give me more of Night Song or are you going to cut me off again? Damn it! <laughs> Aviana is actually fell over here. Yeah, this is a shrine. Ooh, that was interesting. But I'm not on a character who went through that quest, so she probably doesn't have it. Because you know Aviana shows up after a quest. It looks like catalocations. Flight points didn't automatically transfer over, which I guess it makes sense. I'm just gonna fly past the Firelands raid right now. Just for fun. I do want to see if I can soar above uh, Ogomar.
There's another one of the uh, dragon bosses for the holiday here. That one's not up. And the green dragon fight hated you. Well, the dragon fights hated you, basically. <laughs> not much to see in the shower. Except Azura Ghost is probably up. But we're not going to give us a turn. Azura uh, Ghost. If you do the Blue Dragon Quest line, you will remember him. Well, here you get to fight him as a boss, as a war boss. I'm in Northern Barrens already. No, I actually wanted to go to Ogremar and fly really high above in Ogremar and not get shot down. I'm just dragon riding. Don't oh, cat hack me. Fur the herd. I might not be high enough to avoid being shot down. Gonna make it quick. Yeah. Kill Anixia. Knowing my luck, I'll kill Anixia and the fucking mountain will drop. And the PTR. It just, so I'm not doing any of that. So why would I do that to myself? Ugh.
I haven't been to Stone Town. I've barely been to Ashenvale, but I've stolen town Stone Town Mountains. Mulgore. And now I'm in I'm already in Thousand Needles. Just scurrying the edge of Thousand Needles. Oh. Can we see the sword yet? There's the sword. It pops up. The wound champion. Climbs out and fit. So where is Ando in this? I'm trying to see from what viewpoint. Oh, probably actually in Oban, not in Silicus itself. Easily see it from there. I can't get, I know I can't, get, I'm nowhere near anywhere at the point where I could get to this quest. There might be a Magni there. I can't even remember where the hell the entrance is, but anyway. Get on, girl. I'm gonna go up there. Respective stuff going on with the sword. It's just so huge. Now I'm in Oldham. It looks like where the point of view of where the sword is, and I'm trying to remember it from the video. Oh god! Uh, great. Oldham's under attack. Well, there's something now we get to count on. That can now attack us while dragon riding. So it doesn't seem to be having the slowdown effect. To which I go, ha ha. Doesn't look like 
weird. Because... This is definitely not in BFA mode, but those giant worms are definitely BFA mode. They're not usually out flying around in the sunlight. So my guess is this is set to, uh, but that's just some weird thing. I don't know. It's weird. That is as far south as I can get in Kalimdor, though. We'll fly all the way down to the, the very, very, very south. Which I believe technically is actually... Now, my understanding is, is you can dragon ride in BFA? Not BFA, in um, Burning Crusade? I think I'm going to try that. Curious to see what that's like. So, quickest route, though, is I'm going to hearth back to Veldraken. I don't know if I'm going to try all the zones tonight. I'm feeling tired already. Champion, may I have a word with you? I'm sorry, Chandris. I think it can actually start flying in here, but just go outside. We can fly! <laughs> Burning Crusade! We should, though, technically start. Push through. I'm gonna try to do all the burning crusade. But I'm mostly trying to get to Shannon Valley. It's a great skybox though. I want to go to the area where the nether drakes are. Since, uh... 
to show up. Or why did you do the side quest? Why would you? Wait a minute. There's... I, d I was like, why are there racing flags going on there? There's another event going on right now. It's another wing ledge, it's where the nether wing tracks hang out. But I just realized no, I didn't mean to do that. Well let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can dragon race as a drag here. I'm gonna say probably not. It's probably gonna pick a random dragon racing mount for me but I forgot I don't think this is live this is on live the outland cup I do not believe is happening now I think they're just testing it the Outland Cup is going on. No, no. It's only on the PTR. The waters flow again. Yeah, it chose my dragon for me. Boo! Still, Outland Racing. Whoops! Whoa! slight difference from the 20% reduction normal dragon riding reduction rate and this which is Norman dragon riding's top speed so interesting whoa that sucks Tricky that one. Yeah, silver. Not too bad. Considering I went right into a wall. So neat. Anyway, what was I doing? I don't have to use a milk. Actually, I'm really sleepy. I don't know why I'm really sleepy. I think what I'm gonna do... Park my drag fear over Oh, I can't go much further, can I? Nope. Park myself here. It's only 9.35, but I'm cold and I'm gonna get under covers and I'm sleepy and that's that's what's going on. 
So what I'm going to do is I will pick up, I don't know, tomorrow's Tuesday. I did take a late afternoon nap, and it was a really good late afternoon nap, and all I wanted to do was go back to my late afternoon nap. I'm sleepy. But yeah, I think what I should do is I'm going to go cuddle up under the comforter and, and read. Mm, read a book. I am fall asleep. But no, this is fun. I'm having fun. I'm not tired because I don't mind having fun. But tomorrow we're going back into a... Oh, reading. Yes. Uh, tomorrow, I believe, the tier quest, the conclusion of it, drops. So that's going to be interesting. So I'll probably be doing that. I'll be moving some more alt into position in for Mia Drasil. Yeah, I think tomorrow's the teardrop. Teardrop! Uh, anyway. <laughs> I do think that's tomorrow, so I'm prepared to do that. And then, so I'm just going to be playing with the PTR as long as let me play with the PTR. Um, as a change of pace. But, yeah, that's why I'm going to say goodnight. So, thank you. For, thank you for watching and thank you for chatting and Thank you for putting up with all my silliness. It's cold. I want to read. I'm tired. Have a good night. Thank you.